Hello, what's up? <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> I hope you can hear me. I always have phlegm or something in my throat, it seems. But, yeah, the car is just kind of like <clears throat> yeah, I'm complaining because New Jersey has the worst roads ever. There's no, they don't fix the infrastructure. They don't seem to want to do anything about that. Very odd. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> what am I doing? What am I going to do? It's a big question. I want to get out of this town that's racist, that's why. I don't feel comfortable here, plus my parent, my mother is here. And she already put all my siblings against me and playing games, so. You know what, fuck you. have to ruin my experience here. You know, that that's not normal. It's not normal that anywhere you go, somebody is like dead set on ruining your time there. You know? Um, and that's what the narcissist does. I always think about having what it would be like to have a different life. Different parents. Our friends. And I get kind of upset over that. Thinking about it. And I start feeling sorry for myself. fruit finally something healthy. And not all that great because just when I bought it, it came with apples and stuff. And, and right when I opened it up it started turning brown. <laughs> the apples. You know, you that ever happened to you? I don't know. Sorry for myself sometimes. Because no one else is, so I, I might as well feel sorry for myself because no one else is. So I don't know. Um, you know, I, I'm having a hard time doing things for myself, like, you know, thinking of myself first. And you know, obviously, my kids come first, so how does that work? But my kids aren't here, so I can take care of them first. I mean, I gotta wait a whole month for this thing, this Zoom hearing with the judge. Um, I'll try to get my kids back. Can anyone give me advice on how I can convince this judge to return my kids back with me? Because I'm having a hard time believing in myself that I can do that because of, you know, they all want, they, the, the lawyer and everyone wants to say how, you know, by law, they're there for six months. By law, by law, it's six months. It's like, really? I've been with them for my daughter 15 years and my son nine years. So what the fuck does six months have anything to do with anything? They, they can go on vacation for six months and then you're going to say that they're that's their residence? No, absolutely not. I do not understand the law and how it, it's not working for people. 
people. It just doesn't work for people, man. There's too many rigid laws that make no sense that, um, you know, these judges just live by and, and rule by. I'm not the only one going through this shit. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, one mistake and I'm screwed for a long time. You know, I'm going to have to try to appeal that decision. Um, if I lose, I'm not, I'm, I'm firing the lawyer I have. And I have to get another lawyer. And then try to appeal it. You know, this is going to cost me time and money. And that's basically what the narcissist wants me to do with my time. He wants me to obsess over him and obsess over trying to, to to win and I'm in this game that I don't like and I don't want to be in I don't like games I, I want peace I want I want peace and I want to be with my children that is so simple and that's it I that's it I want and I want to be able to be free to make decisions on my own and you know live some kind of life that, that's peaceful and happy that I never got to have that's all I'm asking for I don't want none of his money and I'm not sure why the lawyer thinks that I want to have any spousal support or anything I don't want even child support I don't want anything I want him to leave me the fuck alone and go rot somewhere because I am tired of people getting away with with crimes and 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 and, and hurting other people because my whole life no one was accountable for what they did to me, none of them. So and especially him. So <laughs> I just bought. Is it so so much to ask for for some kind of justice? That's it. Just, just say, be accountable for what you do. That's all. That's all I'm asking. And um, and the court is just gonna look at me like, oh, you let them go for six months with their own father? Like that doesn't even make sense. What am I supposed to do? Not let them, my own kids, see their own father that they want to see, that they want to spend time with? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not that person. I'm not. I never was. You know, and okay. Shut up, you stupid scumbag. I can make a turn there. <clears throat> um, so sorry. I, I, this is why I can't drive. I'm emotional. I am. <clears throat> um, I was making a turn. And uh, you can make a turn on the red there And the person I was actually waiting for them to go When they were beeping at me Like you can't even do the right thing anymore Like it doesn't matter <laughs> It's actually worse if you try doing the right thing So Whatever It is what it is <sighs> Alright so what was I saying Um So 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 I just, you know, I try to do things nice and, and, and fair and uh, reasonably. And I always think of my kids, what they need, what they want. Um, if they want to see their father, I let them see him. I don't play that game like a narcissist would. Like, oh, no, I'm busy right now. You can't see them. Sorry. Oh, no. Try next week. Try next week. That's not me. I never was like that. But... I have a feeling that the courts do not care about the truth or what's best for the child. They really, they don't care about what's best for the child. They, they care about following their rules <laughs> and their, uh, there's like a 12 point rule, not, not a 12 point rule, 12 point list that they have to, um, for custody or something like that. Like you have to match most of the points. I don't know what they were talking about. Something like that. It's in best interest of the child checklist kind of thing. So <clears throat> that's it. So they need to file that, the file the laws, and that's it. That is it. It has nothing to do with with uh, anything else. It's 
And who has the most money that could take care of the kids best, I guess. I, I don't know. I've been fine doing it by myself all this time. I mean, I'm able to take care of them in, in everything that I need to do. I definitely stay on top of the doctor's offices, uh, the doctor's appointments, the um, dentist, the uh, grooming, the food, everything I do, I do, I've always done, so I don't understand, I don't understand, like, he doesn't do anything, he's neglecting my children, um, you know, making them do all kinds of activities that they don't even want to do half the time, and it's just, that's not love, that's attention, there's a difference there, you know what I'm saying, like, there's, there's attention, and then there's love, there's two different things. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know what the hell to do because I gotta find a better place than where I am because uh, where I am is too small um, and then that's another thing they might want to inspect inspect on me that I'm having a that I have a good enough place for them to live or something this is ridiculous because you could always change that you know what I'm saying you can't make a permanent decision on stuff like that. Like, so what? I have a smaller place. Yeah. I, you know we're in a crisis time right now? Or no one remembers that? <laughs> you know how much rent is now? It's expensive. And, and, you know, trying to afford even a one bedroom in New Jersey is, like, insane. It's, 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 they're price gouging the, uh, the renters now. Especially now. Because they could do that. Because they want you to not be able to pay so they can get rid of you and raise the rent. And that's how they do things here. I don't know about all the states, but this one does that. Everyone kind of knows that. Like, this is an unwritten rule. Damn it, man. There's nowhere to park without being near everybody. I want to eat my sandwich. I should have just waited and came over here and ate some of that. Uh, post I am car or something. <clears throat> My car should have came here. It's cheaper for stuff in this company. Alright, so yeah. I don't know what the hell. Like, um. And the nurse just finds a new supply. And they have unfinished business with you. <laughs> all bets are off. All pain fares off. It's just like um insane battle. It's um, damn it. it. I just he just won't leave me alone at all. He wants to take any, any, every penny from me that he can. I mean, you know, I would have been okay, I think, if I didn't have the family that I have. You know, I'd be able to fight him off, probably for good. But the way that my family is, that wasn't going to happen. They're just, they're just as bad as he is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just... I completely had it with them. I completely had it with them. I don't trust any of them. I've been the odd one out all, all, all this time. The worst thing is, uh, the worst portrayal I think was from my own, um, uh, 
my brother, you know, because I thought he was aware enough of what was really going on to my mother and everybody. You know, I figured he was educated. What is this crap? He went to college and everything. I mean, you know, I didn't even finish college. And he and he finished um um he has two degrees or something like that. And he's still not able to to live on his own. And, and it's just ridiculous. And he has to take care of my mother. Like she's some kind of a saint. Um, deserves. You know, my brother giving up his life for her for some reason. No. And that's not how it works. I know he's angry about all that. And a lot of the anger was repressed and takes it out on people, but not me. Like, I've always been there for him, and you know, we've always been friends and all that. And it's just like, wow, you're going to turn on me like that? Are you going to betray me? I'm going to try to help you um, to get you out of that situation and all that. When I myself have my own problems to deal with, I'm trying to help you. And then you go and fucking, you know take out your anger out on me and shit make me have to be scared I'm not doing it I stop talking to him because that's fucked up I guess crossing the line and shit that should hurt the most I think out of all the portrayals I've had from family or whatever that one is the worst for me that's the hurtful one right there And, um, I'm still having a hard time with that. You know? Processing it. And, um, that's it. That's all I have. why I'm doing these videos because this is a serious problem and you know a lot of families are suffering right now some of the people that are like scapegoated as a family and shit like you know how lonely that is let me tell you it's the most miserable realization You don't have a family, and you're like, you keep trying to create this family that doesn't exist. And then, um, the more you try, the more you try, the more you try to get them to understand reality and how, you know, things outside of the, the family unit actually works. The more you try to do that. The more distant these people become because they don't want unless they want to um unless they're open to the truth and wanting to get out of that situation they won't and then they'll just scapegoat you and kind of banish you out of the family and 
depression and just I'm just I'm tired Because I know everyone's secrets, man. I know all the secrets. You know, I am the keeper of all the secrets. And basically, you know, everyone wants to pretend and live in this fake fantasy world. But I refuse to do so. And I am the bringer of truth. And I don't live in fantasy. I've been brought up that way my whole life. So, I mean, well, I haven't been brought up that, that way the whole, my whole life. How I was brought up is was to become the scapegoat of every fucking day. <sighs> and the holder of all the blame and shame and all that. But I refuse to play that role because I know it's, it's not true. It's not, I'm not who they say I am. And I'm not somebody that should be able to take on all their dysfunction. I'm not going to do that. I'm not being that person. That's not me. So I end up losing my family support. So I don't have support. Alright, fine. Now what? Oh my god, this pineapple is like a brick. <laughs> I lost the pineapple. It fell. Well, okay, anyway. But so... Not being able to hang out and, and, and you know associate with my family is very um stressful and and it gives me it makes me hurt and very heartbroken and I cannot stand this feeling anymore like I don't know what to do with all these feelings um I don't know who to trust I, I don't know what to do like like Why do I? Man, I ate, I drank a whole Red Bull, twelve ounce, and I'm still like, I still want more. That's crazy. got myself involved with a guy that just wants to step on people to get where he wants in life. He can't do it himself. Or find a way to do it. Have my kids secluded in a state nobody knows about. He almost brought him into another country. Who would do that? He's almost in Canada. Hmm? Brought my kids into Canada. This is ridiculous, guys. I really wish I had a different story to tell because this story is just terrible. And then I think about all the things I went through with my husband. And, you know, how far we came from.
where we were, but... And then he just jumps from me to somebody else that has more than me. And he says, well, there's no time. <laughs> he always says that. Well, you know, I don't got no time to waste. Life keeps going. Life has no time for you to, to wait for you. No, because he didn't see, he didn't get what he wanted. It wasn't good enough, you know. It was never good enough. Mm. We had everything that a person could really aspire for. Um, it wasn't good enough the whole time. It was beneath him. It's insane how he's so deluded that he thinks That somehow he made it higher in life because he took from someone else. Like, he don't have his own home or anything. Um, you know, um, he lives in, so I don't understand. This is so delusional. He lives in someone else's house, right? That they pay for. And worked hard for whatever. Damn it. And somehow he thinks that's his home. <laughs> um, unbelievable. He's delusional to think that her home that she worked hard for is now his home. And that he can get away with bringing my kids there, playing house, it's, this is just that, like, who thinks like this? Who thinks that's like their home? Like, he even says that. how he secured that kind of supply I just I'm I'm still I'm shocked how he was able to do that like um convince someone to hand over their house like that I, I don't know man that thing is very disturbing I see. Ugh. You know, the only reason he whatever discarded me is because I because hmm. I had enough. I realized he was a liar. He was using me. Abusing me. Um, putting me in risky. Putting, putting me in risky situations. And doing shit and then just blaming me for him doing it. It was just getting out of hand. So... Since I was able to see through all that, that's the reason why he really moved on to someone else. Yeah. 
But why is he like why just stop? Leave my children out of all this shit, you know? But they won't do that because that's their property. People don't exist as people. Just as tools. You know? Garbage. We use so much garbage as human beings. Don't we make a lot of garbage? Sad, but. So, anyway. Um. Damn, I wish I had my hand sanitizer, but I don't. Um. Oh my god, excuse me. Sorry, I'm rude today. I'm, I, I was eating. I have to eat at least once. I don't even eat like normal anymore. I eat once, but I really need to cut down on even that because I just, I want to lose weight somehow. You know, I know anxiety helps to helps me to lose weight, but right now I'm just more of a depressed person. So when I'm depressed is when I gain weight. When I'm more anxious, I lose weight, you know? So, yeah. Being with the narcissist again, that might get get me to lose some weight I think <laughs> but I'm not doing that because that also comes at a price you know a big price one I cannot afford anymore I just can't damn it the seatbelt is like fucked up <laughs> So, you know, it's just, I can't afford to, um, I can't afford my sanity, because that's what they do. They make you nutty and insane. I mean, like, you're fighting for, for your for a reality to sink to. You're constantly fighting them to understand the reality of things. And there's no getting through. Because they are invested in the lies. They don't want to see the truth. So, anyway, this, this video is too long now. So, I got to go make another one. Um, thank you for... What's going on in my wheel? Thank you for listening. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Please leave a comment to encourage me to make these videos. And hope everyone's doing good. And have a good day now. Bye.